Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving absolute value equation. Please remember that if we're given absolute value of x is equal to a, if a is negative, then there is no solution. Inside the absolute value can be x, or it can also be an expression just like this one right here. So we have x plus 3, absolute value is equal to negative 5. Since we already have this absolute value isolated by itself, so then we have um, our a here is negative 5. So then we can go ahead and say that this um, problem that we have here has no solution. So a little um, explanation to why is it no solution. It's because whatever value that we put into the x here, it will always come out positive because um, absolute value will always take the positive um, value. So then it can never have a negative 5. So, or it can never have a negative value for A. So we take this as no solution. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So absolute value of 2x minus 1 plus 4 equals 1. Our first step is to isolate the absolute value expression by itself on one side. So then there's like a 4 right here. So what are we going to do is we subtract 4 from both sides, minus 4. So then we go ahead and cross out the 4. So we are left with absolute value of 2x minus 1 equals, this is going to be, 1 minus th 4 is negative 3. So then it's all set up with absolute value expression on one side. So in this problem that we had, we had here on the first one, we are, we're good because it was already isolated. So this one is not isolated yet because there was a plus 4 next to the absolute value expression. So then we subtract 4 from both sides. So in this case right here, since our absolute value is equal to a negative value, so then we go ahead and say this is another problem where there is no solution. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next um, example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we're going to have all the steps. So we take the first step. We isolate the absolute value expression by itself on one side. So as you can see, this one is already isolated. And then this one is not negative. So then we can go ahead and say that we can um, get a solution to this um, equation that we have here since our A is positive. So since it's already uh, set up, this um, absolute value is already um, isolated by itself, so we're good to move on to the second step. Break up the given absolute value equation into two components, the positive and the negative components, and solve. So what are we gonna do here is that we are supposed to break this up into two parts. So the other part would have a positive tense. I'm just gonna set up exactly how this uh, inside the absolute value um, symbol like right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and write 2x plus 4 equals, we take the positive a, so that's going to be a positive 10. And then the negative components shall be written on the other side. So I'm just going to show the negative component right here. 2x plus 4 equals negative 10. So again, that's the second step. We break this up into two components. The first one will have a positive A, and the second one will have a negative A. So that's every time, if it works. So this works because this is a positive. So then we can go ahead and um, do the math here. So that would be a minus 4 from both sides, minus 4. So then we can go ahead and say that's 2x is equal to... So that's going to be 2x is equal to 6. And then we divide both sides by 2. We divide this by 2 here. So then we can go ahead and say that the first value for x is 3. So this is our first value of x. And the second value of x would be we subtract 4 from both sides minus 4. So then we can cross this out. So we're left with 2x is equal to negative 14. And then we divide both sides by 2. We divide this by 2, so then we are left with x is equal to negative 7. So these are the um, solutions to this equation that we have up here. The third step is to use the original equation to check your answers. It's very important that we check our answer because um, sometimes it looks like it worked, but then when we check our answer, it really doesn't work. 
So uh, that's part of the steps. We always check our work using the original equation. So I'm just going to show the uh, work up here. So we will check. Again, we use the original equation. So I'm just going to make a division right here. So then, okay, so we're going to rewrite the original equation right here. So if we let um, x is equal to 3, so we're checking the first one. We put it up here. We write the original equation. That's absolute value of 2x plus 4. 4 equals 10. So then we are not sure yet. We ha we're going to plug in the 3 to the x here. Now I'll give you a trick. The trick is to change the variable into a parentheses before we plug in values. So that's uh, that's always a must before we put in the values because sometimes others messed up with the math and they get confused on what to do. Um, so it's very imperative that we put or we change the variable into a parenthesis first before we plug in the value. So in this case right here, I'm just going to write um, two parentheses plus four. Is that equal to 10? And this time I'm now ready to put in the value for x, which is three. So I changed it to parentheses first before I put in the three. So in this problem that we have here, we can go ahead and simplify this. Two times three would be six plus four. 4, absolute value is that equal to 10. So we're not sure yet. So that would be 6 plus 4 is absolute value of 10. Is that equal to 10? Remember that absolute value will take always the positive value. So that would be 10 is equal to 10. We can go ahead and say that x is equal to 3 is a solution to this equation right here. Now let's move on to the other um Solution right here, which is negative 7. So we let x is equal to negative 7. So I'm just going to rewrite the equation right here. So that would be 2x plus 4 is equal to 10. So again, the trick is to change the variable into a parenthesis before we plug in the values. So then I go ahead and show the work here. In here, as you can see, we have absolute value of negative 10. Is that equal to 10? Remember that absolute value will take always the positive value. So that would be positive 10 is equal to 10. So that means that x is equal to negative 7 works. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. We go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to isolate the absolute value expression by itself on one side. So in here, we have a 2 right here. So uh, it's together with the absolute value expression. So then we go ahead and isolate this part by subtracting 2 from both sides. So minus 2 and minus 2. So then we go ahead and cross out the uh, 2 here. So we're left with absolute value of 4x minus 2 is equal to 6. That's 8 minus 2 is 6. So then we already have uh, uh, done the first step, which is isolating the absolute value expression by itself on one side. So we move on to the second step. Break up the given absolute value equation into two components, the positive and the negative component, and then solve. So then we go ahead and break this up. So it's get the, this side right here will have a positive A, and this side right here will have a negative A. So then I can rewrite the expression inside the absolute value. So that would be 4x minus 2 equals positive 6. And the other expression would be, or the other equation would be 4x minus 2 equals negative 6. So positive a, negative a. So then we go ahead and solve for x. So that would be a plus 2 from both sides, plus 2. So then we cross the 2 out. We're left with 4x equals 8. So we divide both sides by 4, divide this by 4. So then our first value for x is positive 2. Now let's move on to the other um, equation right here. So we add 2 from both sides plus 2. So then we cross the 2 out. We're left with 4x equals negative 4. We divide both sides by 4. Divide this by 4. We cross this out. So we're left with x is equal to negative 1. So these are the two values of x. 
Now we move on to the third step. We are supposed to use the original equation to check our answer. Again, it's very important that we um, check our answer because sometimes it, it looks like it worked, but then uh, when we check, it doesn't really work. So then we have to check. So we will show um, the check right here. So we will start with the first one. So we let x is equal to two, and we rewrite the original equation right there. So that would be four x minus two absolute value plus two equals eight. Again, the trick is to change the variable into a parentheses before you plug in values. So then in this problem right here, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna change this into parentheses and do the math. It worked because you have an absolute value of six, six is the positive six and plus two would be eight so eight is equal to eight now let's move on to the other um, X which is we let X is equal to negative one so then I'm just gonna go ahead and rewrite it again and the trick is to change this a variable into a parentheses and we plug in the values. So then I go ahead and change this into parentheses before I plug in the negative one, just like how I did it over here. So then we go ahead and say that both 2 and negative 1 are solution to this equation that we have up there. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example that we have here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to isolate the absolute value expression by itself on one side. So as you can see, this absolute value that we have here is not by itself because we have a three and we have a negative one. So we need to clear the ones that are outside of the uh, absolute value expression so that we can go ahead and move on to the second step. So in this case that we have here, we're gonna add one from both sides. So we're gonna add one to both sides here. So after we added one to both sides, so this is how the equation is gonna look like, but we still have three right here. Again, our target is to isolate the absolute value expression by itself on one side. So then we are dividing three from both sides and this is what's going on here. So I divided three, I divided three here so we can cross this out and we're left with two. So then we already have isolated it by itself. So then we are ready to move on to the second step break up the given absolute value equation into two components, the positive and the negative, and we solve for x. So I've written down here the positive um, a and the negative a. So it's pretty much the same thing. I just um, wrote what's inside the absolute value right here on the uh, left side, and then the positive a and then the negative a. And then I did the math down here, so I'm able to uh, solve for x is equal to three and x is equal to one. And then the third step is to uh, use the original equation in order that we can check if these um, two answers that we have here are correct. So again, it is very important that we check our work so we know if those values of x that we solved really worked. So we're gonna start with the first one here. So let x is equal to three. Again, I rewrite the equation right there. Three absolute value of two x minus four minus one is equal to five. Again, our trick when we, che uh, when we check our work is to change the variable into a parentheses and we plug in the values after that. So then from here, I can go ahead and show the work here. here it worked because you have absolute value of negative 2 is the positive 2. We always take the um, positive value. So 3 times 2 would be 6 minus 1 would be 5. And we check the other um, value of x. So we let x is equal to 1. Again, the trick is to change the variable into a parenthesis before we plug in the values. So I'm just going to rewrite this um, equation up here.
So then as you can see here, it worked because we have um, absolute value of negative two is a positive two times three would be six. So six minus one is five and both equations are equal to five. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.